Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Janelle Higgins. Operation Food Search feeds approximately 150,000 people in our region every single month, and the Girl Scouts of Eastern Missouri want to help them make that happen. Karen Klaus and Donna Martin have been telling us about their joint initiative called April Showers. And Donna, you said this does not happen alone. It takes a lot of people to make April Showers happen, right? Janelle, it does. We last year had nearly 18,000 girls who were taking part in this collection and 14,000 adult volunteers who, who helped to make this really uh, a major event. It took over 86,000 hours of their time to put together the 1,415,702 items that we collected last year. So really it takes a lot of people and you guys obviously are so appreciative to have the Girl Scouts come in in this way but you know we do want to remind people you guys need help year round too for everything food included right? Absolutely um, we like time talent and treasures we benefit from all of it one in eight individuals in our community struggles with hunger and food insecurity they live at or below poverty level and so the needs are, are very great. It's food, but it's other things too. And for that, we're so grateful for the Girl Scouts. And the Girl Scouts help us in so many other ways too. Um, the, they often come in and they do birthday in a box. And they'll take shoe boxes and fill it up with all the birthday items, party hats, cake mix, little uh, cupcake cu cups, so that every child knows that someone is thinking about them on their birthday and that they're recognized. And that's one of our favorite things. They help fill backpacks in our Operation Backpack Program. So we can always use volunteers at our organization. Donations can be made. You can go online to our website, operationfoodsearch.org, if you want to contribute that way. So there's so many ways to help. They have been hosting a food drive uh, throughout the year. But we're so glad for April showers. It's that time of year, and the Girl Scouts do a phenomenal job for us and collecting the items that are so important to feeling good about yourself, to being clean, to being healthy. And when you're feeling down and out, those items mean the world. Mm -hmm. And so thank you. So you guys are obviously reliant on the Girl Scouts, and the Girl Scouts, as we were talking about before, they need the community to stay up and running, right? We, we absolutely do, and, and for us, we have three pillars of learning. It's called discover and connect and take action, and so for girls to really learn those, uh, those issues, uh, this is a perfect way. They've discovered a need in the community. They've connected with the community at large to say, help us make our community a better place. And then they take action. They're out uh, distributing the bags. They're out uh, at our Walmarts. They're out letting people know that there is a need in the community and they want to make, uh, make that difference. And when they come out to Operation Food Search mm -hmm. and they see the actual outcome of the work that they've done, it's wonderful to see the looks on their faces and to know that what they're doing really does make a difference. Sure, and now it wouldn't be right to have, you know, the CEO of the Girl Scouts on without talking about your cookies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I know a lot of people like myself may be wondering, can we still get cookies? I know it's April, it's kind of past, but is there still time for us? Janelle, there actually is. This year we're doing something we've never done before. We've got a bonus birthday bash going uh, for, our, for our girls and they are uh, having the opportunity to sell cookies until the 12th of April. Uh, we didn't quite make our cookie goal this year, so we said to the girls, what can we do? and came up with this idea that any troop that wanted to continue to sell cookies could do so. So anybody can go on our website, uh, www.girlscoutsem.org, and find where there are cookie booths still going on. They'll be going on through this coming Friday. And it doesn't end with cookies and April showers. You have a camp coming up oh, too. Absolutely, we're you know we're uh, right in the midst of registering girls for camp, and I, I want to make it uh, clear that girls don't have to already be Girl Scouts to attend our Girl Scout camps. We have three wonderful camps: Cedar Ledge, Tuckahoe, and Fiddle Creek. Uh, we have resident camps that go from three days and two nights to one week to two week camps going on all summer. Some exciting new camps this year: one called Little Medical School, uh, mm -hmm. another one called Gizmos to Gadgets where girls actually make things. Lots of innovative things that I think girls of all ages can enjoy and learn from, uh, again, and become leaders in our community. So remember, they don't have to already be Girl Scouts. They can come to Girl Scout camp anyway. Sure, and also remember, everyone can donate to April showers. So once That's again, right. can we go over the dates so everyone knows when to be looking for the bags and when to fill them? The bags will be out April 12th, 13th, and 14th this coming weekend, uh, and they will be collected on the 20th, but they can purchase bags at uh, Schnucks and Deerberg's or be at Showering the Community at all Walmart stores this coming Saturday, April 13th. Okay.
Okay, great. Well, we hope you guys break another Guinness World Record. Did you have something Thank else? Thank you. Oh, I wanted to say that also the week after April showers, just in case you didn't donate, you can still drop off your donated items at Deerberg's stores. At Deerberg's and Shook's. So and you Shook's. guys are making Absolutely. it very easy. There's no excuse for no one not to participate, That's right? right. <laughs> All right. Thank well, you. thanks so much, ladies. Thank Stay you, with Jeanette. us for more STL TV Live right after this short break. Thank you.